Violent storms, mutated beasts and cataclysmic events. The world of Anthem is a cruel place and at its center is the Anthem of Creation. As a freelancer you'll be taking on the power of the Anthem, so let's make sure you know what you're going up against. The Anthem of Creation, often simply called the Anthem, is a powerful force that exists in the world, it permeates everything and it can be channeled. The Shapers, a species of gods, created relics to harness the power of the Anthem and create the world as we know it. In nine days they set out to create the world, but on the third day they vanish, leaving only their instruments across their unfinished work. The relics, most infamous of all the Heart of Rage, enter in conflict with the Anthem of Creation. This is done through echoes, pieces of radiant energy that exist as a part of the relic and are echoes from the Anthem of Creation. Every so often the Anthem can bubble over, so to say, leading to catastrophes. This causes a violent reshaping of the world resulting in storms, cataclysmic events and mutated creatures. According to the Monitor, the leader of the Dominion, it's capable of destroying entire civilizations. For centuries humans lived at the mercy of the Anthem, unable to rise above the violent storms and mutated creatures. If not for the Legion of Dawn, they would still be suffering. At some point in time, General Helena Tarsis, after which current day Fort Tarsis has been named, was the first to stand up against the chaos. Under her eye, the first freelancers created the first javelins, and so became known as the Legion of Dawn. One of her followers, Arden Fasa, an inventor and a genius in his time, built the Javelin of Dawn a forebearer to the Colossus, one for each disciple of General Tarsus. General Tarsus has passed long ago, but leads on in legend, through stories of valor, might and resolve. One of those legends tells that she scaled up a mountain to defeat a massive beast at its peak and protect the people below. The Sentinel, police behind the wall for Tarsus, tell of a valiant stand where she and her lancers protected a village in the path of a disaster. Some of Tarsis' artifacts are rumored to remain in the Fortress of Dawn, although it's sealed from the outside. Now the world of Anthem faces new dangers, perhaps as great as the ones General Tarsis faced. It's up to the freelancers of now to rise up in Tarsis' footsteps and become as legendary as the Legion of Dawn itself. If you're interested in an infographic briefing on the Legion of Dawn, take a look at the designed intelligence briefing I will create for each faction on Patreon. It's part of an extra service I deliver to our donators. Same with weapon and build blueprints with all the information you need. Rate this video with an up or down vote to supply me with feedback and bring this video into the attention of other freelancers on YouTube. Subscribing will provide regular videos on Anton and Tom Clancy's The Division 1 and 2 in your subscription feed. Clicking the notification bell on top of that will notify you when one of my videos is uploaded. Finally, I would like you to provide me with answer to the following question. What do you think about the Anthem of Creation, Shapers and the Legion of Dawn? Thank you for watching, I will see you next time, peace out.